What's up, sons? It's Blind Ride with Son of Attack once again, and today I'm going to show you how to dual mine Rhetherium with Carlson. Right now, Carlson just got listed over on Trade Ogre and is showing us the most profitable coin on hashrate.no for most GPUs. But it gets even better. We have a new release from LOL Miner that adds dual mining support for Carlson and then a memory heavy algorithm like. Ethereum. You could presumably do this with your chosen memory heavy, heavy algorithm like ETC or so on, but let's go ahead and get into it. Welcome back everyone. So popping right in, you can see we have version 1.78 and there is added support not only for heavy hash and Carlson, but dual mining with this particular one with Carlson dual. This is going to increase, of course, the profitability on your GPU farm and comes at a fantastic time when we currently have those winter temperatures outside. Right now, I currently have it running on a mix of 1660 supers and P1 90s. I'm going to go over the process with you on my 1063 gigabyte rig, but of course it's going to be a little bit spotty because of the limited amount of memory on it, but I want to show you how to configure it. So to go ahead and do it, you're going to open up your Hive OS and then click into the rig that you are wanting to upgrade on. Make sure that you have already installed LOL Miner previously by running a flight sheet that basically runs LOL Miner, and you should be able to continue with the process. After that, you're going to hit the remote access and Hive Shell start. Once Hive Shell has started, you will click into it and then go into your shell and you will need to go back to the GitHub page, which will be linked down below. Scroll down and find the Hive OS update for your console. Highlight it, right click and say copy. Then go back to your Hive Shell, right click and say paste from browser. Paste this into the box and click OK and then press enter. At this point, it's going to update LOL minor packages to the latest version 1.78. It will need to exit and then restart LOL minor. Once it has, you can type in minor to go ahead and confirm. You'll see it begin to load. And at the top, basically, if you got in there quick enough, it'll say LOL minor version 1.78. We didn't quite get in there fast enough, but there's one more thing that you need to do to get to dual mining with Carlson. Let's go back to our flight sheet and then click the ellipses and click edit. Now you don't have dual mine support right here. So you can leave Ethereum and your wallet for that and the pool configured all there. We just need to add the information in extra configs under our setup minor config. So we're gonna click setup minor config and under the extra config arguments, you're going to want to paste this. I will leave it linked down below for you to go ahead and copy and paste out, but you'll do the dual mode and then put Carlson and dual in all caps the dual pool you'll put the carlson pool that you wish to mine to in this example it is hero miners let me add that five for the port proper port number there and then you'll do the dash dash dual user and then you will put in your basically your Carlson address. If you haven't created a Carlson address yet, please check out my video on how to basically create a Carlson node, get your wallet created and start syncing. It's important to note that that one is the only one that's allowing send outs. So get familiar with the command line. If you need more help with Linux command line, please check out my series over on locals at sonofatech.locals.com where I go over beginner steps to getting comfortable with Linux. Now at this point, once you have the extra config arguments applied, you can go ahead and click apply changes and then update and then all workers, or if you're just testing on a new sheet, do create new flight sheet. In this case, it's the only one running on it. So we'll go ahead and say go. Now, I'm not positive actually that this will work on a 1063 gig series, but we're going to see. I think it will because I think the DAG is low enough. And so you're going to see it cancel out here. And then we are going to reopen the miner. You can see here, this is the example I was talking about earlier. It said LOL miner version 1.78. You can see that we have now connected to the Carlson server as well. So then it will go through 
and you will get your speeds for the ET hash B3 and the heavy hash Carlson. And you can see that we are already starting to mine. It'll take a little bit to build the DAG out for the ET hash B3, but once it does, we'll have both of them up and running. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells down below. There's two ways to support me directly as I try to keep a very limited amount of sponsors on this channel. One way is to head over to sonofatech.com and purchase my crypto mining e-course, which gives you a macro view of the Bitcoin cycle, when to purchase equipment, etc. And with that, you do get a free month of supporter status over on sonofatech.com locals.com where I share my daily news with the community and what moves I am making on that day-to-day -day basis. It's a little bit more insider information as far as that's concerned. Once again, hit that like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday.